what is up? I'm Moana Turtle and it happened. Uh, Amy and I gave me a haircut, DIY quarantine haircut uh, yesterday and uh, yeah, it came out pretty well. Uh, today we have, we are, do have a Pokemon opening, so that's not about my hair. We have three of the Galar tins featuring Intellion, Syndrace, and Rillaboom V. We're gonna open up all three. Uh, so it's gonna be a good amount of stuff to do in this video. Uh, let's fast forward to these things all opened up. All right, so we did get everything open and I'm just going to sleeve up the promos real quick. And I just want to say one thing about this product is I think um, I do enjoy this product, but comparing it to so it's priced MSRP is $25, same as all the other tag team tins that uh, from way back when were. And I definitely think this is a not as strong of a product as far as what you get especially when it comes to the promo these guys are cool and it's like hey look this is the new generation therefore we have these things but the card the quality or the power of the cards is not nearly as good as the tag teams they even put some of the strongest ones like Picaram and uh, me too mew so definitely it's not as strong but it's probably the same and as a result i do think that you can find some really good deals um, one easiest thing is just join the Discord to monitor the deals channel or just go to the Pokemon TCG's deals subreddit. Uh, basically, we picked these up for a fraction of the price. I think uh, it was about like 45 for all three of them. So it's kind of like $15 per 10 instead of the regular 25 So some good deals can be had. I do like the pack selection. It looks like we have... Wait a minute, what the... So, wait a minute. Alright, this is... Okay, so it comes with... Uh, Burning Shadows, the Standard Evolutions, and then Cosmic Eclipse, and then of course Sword and Shield. Uh, so quite, ha quite happy with that. Obviously the one that I'm least excited about is this Evolution which we'll start on. Pretty excited about these Burning Shadows. We'll probably go Evolutions, Cosmic Eclipse, then Burning Shadows, and then finally Sword and Shield. Alright, let's begin. But yeah, keep an eye out for deals for these products because I definitely think compared to the Tag Team ones, it's not as strong. Part of the uh, fire truck going on in the background, and maybe if you hear some wind, it is super windy today. There's kind of like a storm watch going on for all the northeast, it seems. All right, first pack we have evolutions, a Growlithe, and two Arcanine. That's kind of cool for some really <laughs> unimpressive pulls. Arcanine, I believe, was a uncommon in base set, so not a fan of that. And I've been reading a couple comments where people are speculating that evolutions could actually be a pretty good uh, thing to pick up. And as far as XY packs, evolutions is a good one. I'm not sure I completely agree with it. I think last I checked, you could pick up an evolutions booster box for still kind of like what you would expect, kind of like 90, which I, is basically the same for new sets as well. We did get a Mega Blastoise. Although I guess if you compare it to like Steam Siege or something, that's probably true. Uh, but we did get a hit and we got a big turtle, the Mega Blastoise, just the regular art. And we got one more evolution. So, hey, anything we pick up here is to me just bonus. The real test comes for, at least myself, is when we get to the sets that are still in standard rotation. Which for, for this opening will just be Cosmic Eclipse and Sword and Shield. And all right, on to our last evolutions. We got a Coughing. And then an Electrode. All right, let's go on to Cosmic Eclipse. Now we're in standard territory. Let's go for some ADP, still a monster of a card. That should be in rotation for quite a while. As well as some of the full art supporters, Guzma Hala, Caitlin, Cynthia, for example. But uh, all right, yeah, so we did cut our hair, my hair yesterday and it was a little nerve wracking in the beginning, but you know what, the, the risk is pretty low if it was if it came out like terribly worst case scenario we just throw a hat on and by the time everything ends my hair grows so fast that uh it would be back to normal <laughs> and uh where i need another haircut again we did get a sawbuck uh was kind of a useful card with its bounce ability i think uh more peco v kind of took that over as far as they switch into a doll kind of strategy But uh, yeah, we only had a kind of like basic kind of trimmer and then a, we used like a pair of scissors that if I recall correctly, I think I might have gotten 
when I was in the fifth grade for school, so it was not the right kind of scissor for cutting hair. As a result, all we really did was use the trimmer on the back and the sides, and I do think we kind of like went too high up, but you know, all things considered, I think it came out really nice. And it was just kind of fun to do. You know, I laughed about it and uh, freaked out a couple times, like, oh my gosh, maybe we've cut too much. Uh, but it was a good time overall, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it came out well enough where I'm uh, willing to have a face cam for our opening. But all right, let's get back to these packs. We got a Nose Pass 8 Palm and our last Cosmic Eclipse, and we get nothing. Okay, now on to some potential fire. We got Burning Shadows. We all know what we're looking for here. I do want to take a note of the card quality. And all right, these look much better than the, I don't know, it seems like there was just one print run. And unfortunately we have a lot of, we have some ETBs from that print run where the card quality was just terrible. But let's see how we do here. We got Togemarm, Wimpod, a Rattata, Magikarp, a Dark Rai, and then just an Electivire. Good quality, <laughs> good card quality, bad pull quality so far. Two packs remaining. So far we just got that one hit. But we need, we're going like, for these packs, we just want the, whoa, absolute home run with the, uh, oh boy, these are all messed up. The Hyper Rare, Olivia Kiawe, Wimpod, a Alolan Vulpix, Meow, Riolu, is that, nope, it's not the reverse, ooh, Gyarados, it's pretty cool art, and then just a Raticate. Alright, last Burning Shadows pack, and then we're going to Sword and Shield. But yeah, I hope everyone had a good Easter. Ours was pretty fun. Just had a huge breakfast, and I don't even think we ate lunch, and then it kind of held us over till dinner time. And obviously, you know, just staying in and keeping to ourselves. Okay, this is a pretty cool vibe. We'll actually put this off to the side in our pile of cards that we might ever one day use. I think this could be used in some of the expanded decks. Although it's unlikely I'll play that, but it'll be good to have the cards. I typically don't like to play those super control style lockdown decks. Alright, the last one. Did I see something from the side view? But these are our last handful of packs. Hopefully you can get something good to show for these tins, because so far it's been uh, not that great. Oh man, I could have sworn I saw like a I thought I saw like a black border from the side, so I was expecting a V card. Let's see, this should be... Yeah, so it's two packs per tin. So this is this one plus four more remaining. Let's get at least a textured card, full art or better. Great ball. And then the Gengar. This was a pretty cool Gengar that I don't think I've ever seen used, but has an interesting ability. Move damage between your Psychic Pokemon. Alright, still nothing. Drizzile, Stunfisk, Nurse Joy, Sizzlepeed, Zigzagoon, and Mana, Snom, Grookey. A Krabby is a reverse. All right, we did get one Cramorant V. I feel like this this card has seen some play. It's been a little bit, uh, but anything with some kind of rip ball like Rillaboom or even ADP uh, does could be useful. But can't say I've seen a whole lot of them. And just a reminder that we do stream the online game as well. And next time for us, where we do a lot of our or all of our pack giveaways and stuff like that. So if you do play the online game, definitely check it out. We stream on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 7 p.m. EST. And we uh, usually are running some kind of limit event for tonight's stream. Anything that is the whole Sun and Moon era, so Sun and Moon base all the way to the Cosmic Eclipse. Build a cool deck um, with those sets. And the whole goal of it is to let's let's this can give us the opportunity to use those cards that we always liked but just weren't good enough to use in a competitive fashion air blue put that off the side pal pen so hopefully you have some exciting stuff 
Sobble is our reverse. And then Galarian Berserker. This is what we pulled in the pre-release for our pre-release promo, and we were a little disappointed. Okay, guys, last pack. So far, we have two hits, which, uh, you know, for well, like 15 packs, that is not so good. Was it 15? Actually, wait. Uh, Cosmic Eclipse. Cosmic with Burning Shadows, Evolutions, and then two. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's get something good. Mawile is our reverse, and for our last pack, we have... Ooh, just a Pulte, guys. So, pretty weak opening overall between the tins for a... Yeah, it's an okay product. I, I don't... I kind of like having these, and it was nice for trades and stuff like that. But we only got three cards that are worthwhile. But uh, anyway, guys, that's it for today. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, do me a favor, if you did enjoy the content, hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already. I'm Juan Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.